Yeah, Dave, as you were talking about unprecedented, we use that word all year long, but certainly looking interesting into next week. Let's start with Tropical Depression 14, which what Dave uh, mentioned could become Marco later on today. You can see here down in the Caribbean off the coast of Honduras, still pretty unorganized. We've got a lot of storms to the north of it, but not the prettiest on satellite. Now satellite or the track does intensify, maybe up to nearly a hurricane by tomorrow night as it gets closer to the Yucatan Peninsula here and then back out over the Gulf of Mexico by Sunday morning, strengthening some more. They do have it becoming Hurricane Marco by Monday, but look at this weakening as it gets towards the Gulf Coast. This part of the forecast, so extremely uncertain. So we need to continue to watch this very, very closely. Notice New Orleans technically not in the cone, but we're on the east side of the storm, so could definitely feel some impacts with rainfall and some coastal flooding. Of course, it depends on the track and intensity, which is still unclear with that one. So you need to check back frequently this weekend as we get the forecast there. Tropical storm Laura, our L storm formed this morning. Notice a big change here. It had a huge jog to the south. This did have implications on the forecast down the road. Now they have it kind of skirting the islands of the greater Antilles from Puerto Rico on Saturday by Saturday into Sunday, getting towards Haiti and then towards Cuba by Sunday uh, as a pretty consistent storm, depending on how it interacts with the islands. If it remains right over the islands, it'll probably be pretty weak. But if it stays just to the north and right over the water, we could be looking at an intensifying storm heading towards the northwest. Now, here's what we want to know. What does it do when it gets in the Gulf? We do think it's going to intensify. We have a hurricane uh, symbol here as it heads up towards the northern Gulf Coast. The center of it somewhere around Mobile, but we are certainly in the cone of uncertainty. We need to watch this one closely as well. We're not writing either one of the storms off at this point, uh, but that's just kind of the message as we go into the weekend. We need to continue to follow this very closely. Regardless, it does look like a huge area of at least tropical storm force winds will be possible. And to give you a timeline on when some of those winds could start to pick up, maybe by Monday uh, evening into Monday or Monday afternoon into Monday evening here in southeast Louisiana for Marco. For Laura, a different story. We'll be watching it move towards uh, the north and about a day behind, about 24 hours behind possibly of what we're dealing with with Marco. So maybe by Tuesday evening, seeing some of those stronger winds. Of course, that depends on the track. So there's still a lot of unknowns with the track and the intensity. Now here's what's steering it. We've got a ridge over the Atlantic that's pushing Laura towards the west. That is um, this trough digging down is what's pulling what's going to be Marco to the north. Now those two playing together gives us our forecast at least for the next 24 hours. But what will happen as Marco lifts to the north? Notice the moisture moving in by Sunday and Monday. The trough starts to break down. The ridge looks like it gets a little bit stronger, so that could potentially push Laura into the Gulf of Mexico. That's why we think it's going to get into the Gulf of Mexico, but it could also potentially push Marco a little further away. So that's just kind of one of those things we're going to have to watch is how strong that ridge is as we go into next week. Rainfall totals look to be the biggest threat right now. We'll go three to six inches. That is very preliminary. That is likely going to change as we go into next week as well. Let's talk about our forecast today, though. We don't have rain on the radar right now, or we did have some showers and storms kind of in New Orleans East. It has fizzled out, not expecting a lot of rainfall today. We're probably not going to see a lot of rainfall tomorrow either, but you can see there are a few scattered downpours as we go throughout the afternoon. Pretty dry for your Saturday, and then by Sunday and Monday, things start to go downhill. So any preparations that you do, I would do it today and to tomorrow, and of course, continue to check back the forecast this weekend because uh, you can't go two days without knowing what these things are going to do. And then impacts would likely be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, depending on what system we're talking about. It's kind of hard uh, to believe that we are saying that, but gonna be watching both of these very, very closely. And then by the end of next week, we'll have these things out of here and it'll get hot and humid once again.